Howdy folks, Brad coming at you here because I have one card in the mail. But it's a nice one. And believe it or not, it's another first in the collection. So this card popped up and it made me realize I do not have an old autographed triple threads merino card. I have a patch card, a booklet. So I found this guy from 2007 Triple Threads. Uh, the old Triple Threads, basically 2009 and earlier, just had some fantastic cards you could get out. Uh, very risky, because you could literally get $15 in value out of a box, but it had very neat things. So I found this, and I was surprised actually what I wanted at. I told you, most like Merino autograph and rare stuff, I haven't seen any dip. This had a little bit of a dip to it, I thought. So it actually made me worried that the card was going to be like, I just did, I was missing something on the card, but it's in very good shape for an old Triple Threads card. But it's gold, as you can see on the back. 2007. And it commemorates his 420 touchdowns, which I have a patch card that commemorates his 420 touchdowns. So this is... Game use, jersey, relic, autograph. They do a good job with the sticker. It looks like it just fits the card, you know. And it's number two out of nine of my man, Dan Marino. So, yeah, believe it or not, first autograph triple threads. I almost like, didn't realize it. I'm like, I started looking at it. And I'm like, huh. So, very nice. And no creasing in those. Because these old ones, man. You have to be very careful when you're buying them because, and that's why I thought when I kind of wanted it the price I wanted it, I'm like, did I miss it? <laughs> but no, it's clean. Got it for a good rate. So you can't beat that. And uh, very happy to add that. We had another Dolphins victory yesterday. Convincing fashion. That's what you'd like to see. You got a team that's down. You got up on them early and you get out of there. Jerome Baker got injured. It looked like it might be a season ender, according to the Dolphins. It doesn't sound like it'll be a season ender, so we'll see. Um, Toronto and Armstead can't seem to finish a game now, so I think that you're just you can't depend on them at this point. But uh, we'll see. We play the Titans on a Monday night, which that Titans Colts game yesterday that that was definitely craziest game of the week that was just nuts though you had two block punch you had all kinds of crazy crap happening in that derrick henry got a concussion but uh somehow the colts keep finding ways to win they're seven and five and i don't think they're very good but they're seven and five and that's what matters so uh be very interesting down the stretch pittsburgh look awful against the cardinals um it's funny a month ago I said how disappointed I was in the Packers. I think I was on the Instant Revolution podcast. And I was like, I don't get why this team isn't better. <laughs> well, pretty much ever since I said that, the last month, Jordan Love has performed beautifully. So if you're a Packer fan, you have to be excited about that. And uh, the defense is starting to step up a little bit. So, yeah, the Packers now back to 500. And then the NFC, 9-8 and eight will easily get you in the playoffs. So... They have a good chance at that, but uh, yeah, nice win by the Dolphins. Hopefully we can take care of business Monday against the Titans. Titans front seven can cause us some problems, especially if we have the O-line injuries, but uh, Will Levis for a rookie, I think he looks fine. Um, if I was a Titan fan, I'd be happy with that. Um but, yeah, problem is another weapon outside of DeAndre Hopkins. They don't really have it, I don't think. Traylon Burks can't ever stay on the field, it seems like. so. But, yeah, that should be interesting. It is at home. I think we're wearing our throwbacks, I think. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I don't like primetime games. Everybody gets excited when their team plays in primetime. I want to play at 1 or 4 o'clock on Sunday. Those are my favorite times to watch football. That's what I want to play. I don't like primetime games. And maybe it's because i got to wake up early now. So, <laughs> I don't know. You guys understand the struggle for those that do that. But this is all I got. Enough little ramblings. One card mail day. 
but excited to have it of my favorite player of all time, Mr. Dan Marino. Hope you all have a fantastic week. If I don't see you again, go Dolphins.